but it's been kept fully even so far. But no, Dylan starting to run, or sorry, Mockin, sorry. Dylan yeah. is the ZSS. I almost just completely reversed that. Uh, <laughs> Mockin starting to run away with a bit of a lead, but Dylan quickly Dylan reversed it as back. well. They're just, again, it's just every time one of them grabs onto a lead, even if it's by like 30, 40%, Ooh, it's immediately yes. brought back. Looking for that uh, ink bomb off stage uh, to try and catch the landing at ledge, but no. Not Mockin going to be able is not to only it. moving, Mockin is moving and grooving. And Ruben that is grooving. what you love to see out of an inkling player. Because this player, I mean, this character looks so, this character, like, it's, this character fluid, looks so, I mean, fluid. not to, yeah, uh, you know, that's exactly the word I was going to use. That is exactly the word I was going to use. Uh -oh. It's fluid. Not, uh, the not like not this connection. Uh-oh. But uh, both players seem, seem ready to go. Uh, momentary, momentary lapse in connection. And we are back in, into it. And now, now we're seeing just how slippery both of these players can be, like getting into and out of engagements. Um, but ZSS, you might argue, ZSS um, has the more committal moveset here, especially when it comes to the grab and the side B. If they're not hitting those moves, uh, Inkling can definitely punish them. This matchup right here, I would categorize it as a battle of the neutrals. Mm, because neither yes. of these characters, both of these characters are pretty combo heavy, but their combos are very easy to drop and also very oh, easy to get so out of. Big. That was falling out of that up smash just saved Mockin's first stock right there. Yep. But it's it's a battle of the neutrals because whoever gets started first is going to keep going and whoever gets out first is going to stay out. It's just going to be whoever can get, oh, but getting caught by the very, very tip of that ink bomb right there. Now, the one thing you do want to watch out here for is Rage CSS. I mean, this has been a terror for, you know, countless years, and comes in, comes into play there, finding that back air. Um, it doesn't matter how slippery you are if ZSS can get her, uh, her, those jet boots on you. And comboing a side B into some up airs, that's some creative play coming out from Dylan. Dylan, just holding on to this stock. Holy crap! Almost 200% and still living, yeah. making really good use of this rage right here to do as much damage as humanly possible. And the footstool dare? Yeah. Who does that? And we were, I mean, I, I think I remember saying this last time with uh, watching Mockin's gameplay is this is like, this is where it can get really, really frustrating as Inkling is when you're sitting at, you know, 80, they started this stock at, they started their opponent's second stock already at 75%. And against a character like ZSS, that's really, really, like, that's a lot of damage. ZSS can easily kill you up at 75%. I think he was it just makes the margin stool. of error Holy so crap. small here. Might have been going for a footstool. You never know. Dylan's a, Dylan, give me a trickster. Getting that uppy out of, uh, uppy off of that whiffed grab from Mockin, though. Dylan, up a full stock looking for as much extra credit maybe even the entire game as possible right here but uh, i mean one thing that i saw a ton of from makin in breakpoint number one was roller reads now a character that stays as air like the, a character that plays in the air as much as zss probably isn't going to um give those roller reads away for free but that is really like okay oh. there's one and i love the, the first extra one. damage I love the extra damage from the splatter shot. And now look at the percents. This is such an, like, this is so much more of a winnable game now. Um, and I was like, just as I was saying, how much of an X factor that is in this matchup, Makin finds the roller read. And now, you know, this is a much, much scarier game for Dylan. Oh, big damage. And that's a lot of ink on Dylan as well. That's going to be racking up percent really quick with all that ink on there. That back air hits like a truck. Oh, that's huge, but no punish. No punish on, yeah, no punish on the whiffed uppie. That's going to be big. If not gonna manage to get something off of that, could have oh, been the game. What a read. But, yeah, the tech chase F smash is going to take it right there. And I wonder, uh, we might end up having to get our boy RJ in here for uh, for a test. I'm not sure, we'll but- We'll see. Saw quite a few stutters in there, so the players might request a quick little lag test. Yep. And if nothing else, if they if they do ask for a lag test, that's, that's going to be a nice little breather for both players because man, that was Intense. very very high octane set. Like that is 
uh, like mentally, the mental stamina that that takes out of you for a game like that, and like thinking that like, wow, I'm gonna have to play at least one more game of this, and for like from Dylan's perspective, gonna have to play at least two if they're gonna if they're gonna um, if they make it out play, in yeah. winners. Um, that was a. Uh, both players really put a lot into that game. Mm. And it's, uh, I mean, it was it was very back and forth, and there's a lot, I mean, like, so, so many things happened in that game that it's hard to really predict what the next game is going to bring. You know? Yeah, for sure. Like, it's... Like and, and the, the stage plays so much of a of a role in it as well. Um, like you know, on a smaller stage, are we going to see as much roller play? Or like on a bigger stage, are we going to see as much roller play? Um, like what are like our platforms going to come into it? You have to figure that Machen probably doesn't want triplats, but Inkling probably likes triplats too. It's a question of like, do I think that I'm going to benefit from this as much as m my opponent's character will? It's it's definitely a uh, a factor of uh what's the what's the we we talked about risk or reward quite a bit earlier yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um but it's it's definitely going to be a uh, an interesting interesting uh like I'm trying to trying to think of how to word this and I'm just the chess match well, yeah that's that's actually a really good uh really really good um way to put it. Um, it's just kind of a back and forth, and whoever holds on to the lead for longer uh, is going to be mm -hmm. in the better position. It's just that's how Smash works. That's how every game works. But I mean, we didn't really have much of a chess match ending in the first game because it was like the the second stock, or like that that first game that was Machen really struggling to put the first stock of Dylan away, but then. You're seeing like both ends of the both sides of the double-edged sword that is Inkling, which is like if they're not finding the roller reads, if they're not finding the forward smash reads, if they don't have ink on their opponent, man, this character looks like they're struggling. Like they can do damage, but you can't. Like that's if you if all you can do is get the ball to the 95-yard line, then you're not gonna get those wins. But the end of that match, we saw two critical reads from Machen there. We saw the we saw the roller read and we saw the forward smash read at the ledge, and those were two super low percent kills, and that's something that I saw a lot from Machen at breakpoint number one as well. Even against characters like Bowser, like they're able to find these super low percent kills, which is 